what's up guys my name is jay and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be explaining how to export your audio mix down from cubase 11 there has been a little bit of some update from cubase 10.5 when it comes to the export window so they've added a few things there which i'm going to explain so i'm going to show you how to export your audio mix down and i've broken this video in two parts the first part is where you export a single mix down which is just a single audio file mp3 or wave and then the second one is how to export your stems so i recently got a comment from reginald uh, can you make a video on how to export a track properly to mix down for mastering at the moment i'm still using cubase 10 but i know a few things about the new features in cubase 11. i've just found a few pictures which i'll be throwing on the screen as i explain and hopefully this will be the answer to reginald's question so let us start with how to export a single mix down file the export process is the same you simply go to file uh, go to export and then mix down this is the window that usually pops up which is the the export window so what you do on this is make sure you've selected this right here make sure you've selected this once you've selected that you notice that it's automatically on stereo out so it's going to export your stereo out bus and then when we come to the settings most of you know this is where you put the name of the file this is where you select the location down here the file type this is where you select if you want wave or mp3 file then the sample rate you can set it to 44.1 and then the bit depth you can just leave it at 32. There's a new feature here which is called uh, the export queue. You expand it and then what you see here is uh, something to do with add to queue. So whatever you've set here, you can just add that to queue. Once you add it to this queue, and then you can just click export down here. Let's say, for example, you want to export both MP3 and uh, WAV. So after setting all this, and then you come down here, you, uh, you expand this and then click Add to Queue. Once you've added your WAV, you can come back here and change the file type to MP3. And then again, go back and click Add to Queue. It will come down here. So you have both MP3 and WAV files. Once you have those both mp3 and web files, you simply click export audio. The program is going to export them separately, but at the same time. So you have mp3 and web file. All right. So now let's look at how to export your individual stems. Let's say, for example, you want to export only your vocals. Maybe you want to send them for mixing somewhere. So what you do in this case is instead of selecting single right here, like we did in the first case, you select multiple here you find your, your vocal tracks here simply start marking what you want to export maybe your lead vocal your beat everything that you want to export here after you're done with that you can come here set the file type which is obviously wave if you are sending vocals for mixing make sure you set them to wave here if you look at this part here do you want to export this with the effects on or without the effects so when you click on that the drop down will be something like this so if you are sending the vocals for mixing obviously you want to send them dry because you want to send them as you recorded them unless maybe you want to send them with some some plugins or effects that you've put there that's where you select any of these you simply just say dry so that you export them the way they are without any effects down here but if you're exporting something and you want your effects to be there you have these other options you have this option for groups and sends so the effects in the groups and the sends will be there if there are any effects on the masters they won't be applied to the files but if you select this last one here it means all the effects that you've put are going to be applied on the files so once you're done with all that then you can just come to add to queue down here click this and then they'll just pop up here so once your files are down here all you need to do now is just click 
start queue down here once you click on start queue it will start exporting and make sure you select you create a folder maybe a folder called mix down so that um, under path you select that folder so that all these uh, files go directly to that folder all right guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please feel free to comment in the comment section